Is it pretty painful? Uh, at times. Yeah, it feels like a rock here. Does it bleed when it cracks like that or no? No, but no. When, when I try to cut it back, sometimes it does. So oh, it does? I you leave, try not to touch it? Yeah, I leave that to professionals. Yeah, it's pretty. This is the thickest I've seen. This is really thick. Yeah. yeah. It grows quick, too. Oh, it, it does? Yeah. What are you feeding it? <laughs> That's what I don't know. It's just the one foot, too. I know. Surprising, because the other foot's fine. Was there any injury to this area, or uh, what happened in the beginning? Do you remember anything, or no? I don't know. It's, it's oh. been like that ever since I was with the Marines. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you get like a, some kind of, where were you deployed, like in a jungle or something? Or? Yeah, it was in the Philippines. Oh, Philippines? And, and Korea. And oh. Okinawa. Maybe I should send this in the sample to see what it is. Okay. You know what I mean? Whatever you think's best. Oh well, yeah, I think maybe we need, we need to sample it and see what. Why is it growing like this? Just this total, huh? This is really, really thick and painful. Yeah. Yeah. Taking our time goes slow on it. So how long were you in the Philippines? Uh, a couple months. Oh, just a couple months. Yeah. You've heard of jungle rot? Yeah. 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 A lot of soldiers get that, huh? Yeah. Because you, you, you can't be sanitary when you're fighting. <laughs> right? That's right. The jungle is pretty hot, huh? Yeah. And and really muggy, too. And pretty wet, yeah. Yeah. I know all that. I'm from Guam, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. I never got to go to Guam. Yeah, it's, it's pretty sticky. It's like a steam room, you know? Yeah. It's probably a jungle like that over in Philippines, too. It gets really terrible. It's it's hard to sleep, you know. Yeah. And just too much. You okay there? Were you ever in, in Vietnam? No, I, it ended before I could get in and go over. Oh, it was a, it was before your time. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people probably had. A lot of jungle stuff over there, huh? Yeah. In Vietnam. It's not extremely hard, actually. It looks, it looks a lot harder than it looks like a rock over there, but... Actually, it's I can cut it with my knife, you know, at least. Some of them are so thick. And hard, it's hard to cut with a knife, but this one's cooperating. Have you tried any cream or anything on this? You gave me that one cream for the, uh, uh -huh. did that help for the fungus? And uh, it did. I had one tube with me and it ran out about a month ago. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Maybe this. How about the softening cream? Did I give you the softening cream too? No, no, maybe you should try that one too. Because that, that way it's, it doesn't get so dry and once it dries and it, it builds on it, you know? Yeah. What, what's painful are these cracks, you see? It cracks and it can make it bleed and that's what makes it painful. Sorry, is that painful? Shows a little bit of crack there. Things are popping. Should I get this down so it doesn't go out tender? Am I grabbing too hard? No. So when was that in the Philippines? In the it was in the 1970s. 
Oh, 70s? Yeah. Is so that right after the Vietnam War? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was anything going on in the Philippines. They were having stuff going on. I guess they still do, but uh -huh. <laughs> various rebels. Was there any fighting going on? Or no? Yeah, they had like a, some rebel groups and stuff. Oh, like I see. So it was not... Mostly they're trained now. Uh -huh. And then that was the last deployment and that was it for you? Yeah, Just I, to the Philippines or? I did uh, four years in the Marines. And Oh, really? I worked at the MCRD. Oh, okay. San Marine Diego. Corps, San Diego. Yeah, yeah. 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 I went there. <laughs> yeah. You know what my, my job was? I was in training too, but I would line up all these recruits. And then if they have flat feet, I'd send them back to where they come from. Oh, really? And these poor kids were there crying, you know. Because they're not going to make it if you got flat feet, you know. You have to have 50 pounds and you have to run like 10 miles, right? Yeah. So my my job was to get them back to where they come from because they, they won't be able to handle all the training, you know. So I, I feel really bad, but that was my job, you know. Yeah. I had to do what I, what I had to do. And that was the only way those young kids can come out of where they come from, you know, like deep south and they have nothing, you know what I mean? It's yeah. their way out of their, their place, but I, they just couldn't do it. I feel really bad, you know. Um, we got a lot of this out. Better? It's looking a lot better. Yeah. A little bit more here. I mean, if you feel it, cut some more for you. Okay. I'm gonna work on these things today because this looks kind of dangerous. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a callus, but you got looks like you have a little blood there. So I'm gonna clean this out right now, okay? Let me know if you feel anything. Uh, okay. Is that, is that hurting? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll go gentle, but we need to clean this up because I don't want this to get worse, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. My birthday come fast. Huh? My birthday fast. My birthday, March, March 8th. What is it? Oh, your birthday. March 8th. Oh, March 8th is coming up. Yep. Oh, where are we going? <laughs> no, my sister pick. Huh? My sister pick. Your sister picks? My sister. Uh, she likes to go to the French company there in Long Beach. Do you, you know the French company? Yeah, yeah, fish company. Yeah. Uh-huh. But you know what? They're not that great anymore. No? Because they changed owners. Oh, is that right? Yeah, they took me for my birthday and I had lobster. Uh huh. It was the worst lobster. It was rubbery. Oh, really? Yeah. I couldn't get even half the shell. <laughs> is that right? Right. Is that you fake? Come? My birthday, you come? Yeah, yeah. Well, where's the party? I know. I mean, wait, um, the eighth come. Yeah? But you're gonna go to you're not gonna go to the fish company anymore. Yeah. You are. Yeah, she likes the shrimp and the skirt. She likes she likes seafood. Oh, you like seafood, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, sorry. But we have to get underneath here. I I, I hope you don't have an ulcer here. Open. No. The, yeah. So we have to slowly take take out this callus. Okay. <laughs> sorry. No. Uh, uh, Oh, my hand. Okay, so you you, you want to go to the some some place to eat fish? Oh, that yeah. right? Is that what you want to do? Yeah. You like shrimps? Yep. Oh, I see. Where did you go last year for your birthday? I don't know. The same place, the fish company. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. My some... daddy coming. Huh? Yep. 
Who? Your daddy? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Where is he coming from? Where is he? Know. Sorry. Okay. I'll be happy. You're happy, right? I know you're always happy. Your camera? My camera? Let's see. Huh? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> you you you're laughing at your own feet? Huh? Oh, you're you're funny, aren't you? No. You're not funny? No. That was funny, I thought. Okay, hold on. I'll go slow, okay? Just relax and we're gonna slowly Take this part out because this can cause more problems, okay? Okay. I want to know what's underneath this thing. So we have to slowly tease off this callus over here, okay? Maybe it's just dry blood now. I'm doing it very slow, okay? Okay, we're, we're getting there. We, we, we're making some headways here, okay? Just. Okay. Okay. Because when you have a thick cows like that, it can cause more blood underneath it. Looks like you okay. have a, looks like you have a dry blood here, which is kind of dangerous. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Okay. We'll go slow. We're gonna. Is that hurting or? Off and on. Oh, off and on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just stay with me here. You're doing great, okay? Okay. We got about half of it off now, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. What day I'll make it back? Huh? What day I'll make it back? Come back? Yeah. Uh, in a couple of months, okay? Months? Yeah, but depends on what this looks like, okay? Okay. If it doesn't look good underneath, I may have to see you a little bit sooner, okay? Okay. Yeah, so let's take a look. We got a lot out, okay? Okay. You're doing good, okay? Thank you. Yeah, it looks like it's just dry blood, which is good, okay? Because I don't want anything bad underneath here, but so far it looks pretty good, okay? Ew. Are you a camera? Hmm? Ew. What's that? It's dry blood. No, uh, on the picture. Yeah. That's your callus. You okay? Oh, Hang in there. He's almost done. Yeah, I'm almost done. Looking good, okay? Okay, let's give it a little break. Okay. All right, it's looking good, okay? Okay. I don't see anything. Yep. Yeah. Bobby watch this watch. You like my watch? Yeah, you bought, you bought me my birthday. You want it for your birthday? Yeah. Okay. What model you like? This. Oh, that one? Exactly. Yeah. This is an old model. I don't know if you want that. You want the newer model, no? You pick my happy. <laughs> you pick. <laughs> Whatever I pick, you happy, right? Yeah. Okay. Which one? You Huh? What's up? You've been eyeing my watch, huh? Okay, almost, almost, okay? Okay. Almost. You're doing really good, okay? Huh? Almost, almost. Okay. You're doing really good. Oh yeah, very good. Ew, yeah, but it's it's good. It's dry underneath. Yeah, which... uh, 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 the picture. Oh, the picture, yeah. But you're doing really good, okay? Okay. You're being a real good patient, right? But it's nice and dry. It's not anything infection or anything, right? Because oh, God. it could be dangerous. Can you can you soak this area in Epsom salt? 
I ask. Is she going to be able to soak it in Epsom salt? Yeah, well, I have Epsom salt from home. Yeah. Yeah, this way it will be really nicely healed afterwards. Yeah, but it's mostly all out. I'm almost out, okay? Just a little bit more, okay? Just a tiny bit more. Make sure I get all this other stuff off. You're doing really good, okay? Yeah, there's nothing terrible down here, okay? So it's good news. Is this how it works? What's your store name? What's the name of it? it yeah. I watch. Well, I'm gonna go look. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go look for it. You wanna somebody. check it out? Okay. Still hurting? Almost done, Debbie. Almost done, almost done. See, I got almost everything off now. Very close, very close. But so far, it's really good, okay? Okay. No infection, nothing. Oh. No, nothing underneath it. I think if you can just soak this off, I think that'll, that'll take care of everything, okay? I think it's really good. Nice and smooth. A little bit more here, just a, just a little bit more, okay? Just okay. give me a second. Two. No, it's really good. Okay. Yeah, see? No more? More? A little bit more, but I don't think we need to do any more because this is a little bit deeper here. I don't want to make it bleed. So if you just soak this, I think this will kind of fall off. Off now? Huh? Off. Yeah, you almost it's almost everything's off except there's a couple areas a little bit okay. deeper. But it looks really good overall. So Daddy, I love you. Okay. So, but you're 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 developing this thick skin around it. You know? So we'll do it as I much as another pair of shoes. I can't have the same shoes every day. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. You put some you have a good support I saw you. You have a good support. I think so. I yeah. It's not doing any good. I've had it for like three years. Oh, really? Maybe too old now. Huh. About three it years is... never helped in the beginning. Oh, uh, no? Yeah. We'll cut down on this calcis as much as we can. I thought I'd cut it out all the way. Oh, you did? How do you cut it yourself? Not very good. Huh? Letter opener. A letter opener? Really? That's some skill. Yeah. With a the, with the letter opener, how do you do it? You just scrape it? Yeah. Or, oh, really? Oh, wow. Not very good, but uh, anything sharp I have, like scissors. Whatever. Scissors, too? Whatever is sharp. Really? Wow. How long you've had these calluses like this? Um, at least 10 years. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Is it getting worse? Well, it is now. I keep taking the doctor to get rid of it. So really? You just cut it out of there. No, you don't want to do that. Well, no, this is, this is from your psoriasis. You have to... You have to improve your stomach. We talked about your diet, yeah. When you improve your diet, this inflammation goes away. I see it all the time. You know? Yeah. That's the cause of it. So I can keep dividing for you uh, symptomatically. Uh, I can make you feel better, but it's not going to solve the problem long term, right? You have to keep coming back. I don't mind the business, but I want to cure it, right? Right. I'm showing you. I'm gonna give you a video for you to watch. Okay, tell you what kind of diet you need, to, you need to be on to improve your gut. When 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 you do that, then this cows won't come back anymore. At least not the stick. You know what I mean. So I, I highly recommend 
You have to reduce the amount of bread and pasta. Do you eat pasta too? Not that much. Not that much? But you eat some bread? bread? Yeah, I like bread. bread. You like bread, huh? Sorry, Greg. Bread's not good for you. Not for this problem, okay? That's what causes inflammation of the gut and it causes leaky gut and that causes your autoimmune disease like psoriasis and over 80 different kinds of disease come from the same cause, you see? So when I put people on a strict diet with no bread, no pasta, right? No junk food, no junk drinks, no alcohol, then people get better. All their symptoms go away. And then they don't have to take the medication anymore either. What do you think about that? Well, I already knew that from early age. Huh? I already knew that from early age. Oh, you did? Who has uh, psoriasis in your family? Your family has it? Uh, nobody that I know of. Oh, really? You're the lucky one, huh? Excuse me? You're the lucky one. Yeah. How did, how did you, who, who diagnosed you first time? Probably. Hmm? My girlfriend? Oh, your girlfriend? Really? She told you you have psoriasis? Well, she didn't know for sure, but. Oh, she knew something was. Like. She knew something was up. Mm -hmm. It's nice and a little bit cool, huh? Yeah. Sorry. To get rid of all this, I have to be here all day long. It'll take us several visits to get this under control, okay? Yeah, I'll do as much as I can, but... You have other things to do. Huh? You have other things to do. Yeah, I have a few other things, things to do. A few other patients to see. So we'll get some big ones out of the way, and then we'll do some more next time, okay? And we'll find out if you have a fungus problem or not. How long will the results take? It'll take about three weeks to get the results. So we'll see you at the time and we can do a little bit more then, okay? And then we do a little bit more and then keep doing it. Until your feet look beautiful. Yeah. What do you think? You like the idea? Yeah, I feel <laughs> You're a funny guy after all. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh yeah, I could have been, huh? Too bad I'm a foot doctor. I have to be extra careful because she's on a flat dinner, so I have to be like very careful getting to the scales so she doesn't bleed. So I very carefully dissect this out. We don't definitely don't want to bleed. I'm sorry? I definitely don't want to bleed here. So we do very carefully and then we'll smooth it down after we're done so that it doesn't become a problem. So is this pretty painful or not extremely painful? Is this painful for you? No, I usually try to cut it like at least every other week. 
Oh, really? Yeah. What do you use? I have that. Like a pumice stone? The, the, rust, the razor, you know, with the, with the handle. Uh huh. Especially for something like this. And I, when it's wet, you know. It's I, easier. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Unfortunately, we don't have access to the the tub, so we just kind of do it this way. I kind of like it when it's drier because it's easier for me to cut it. Okay. How long have you had this callus? For a while? Forever. Forever, huh? Well, like I said, I, you know, do it myself every two weeks, every three. It depends on what's going on in my life. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. How long does it take you to do this? Well, not long. So you got good at it? Uh, I mean, I just, you know, I just don't go like nice the way you do. I just, when it's wet, just scrape it down. And, uh -huh, and then you're done. I'd be careful, you know, not to bleed. Uh-huh. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Uh, How do you like this jazz music? <laughs> I'm trying to relax you while you're <laughs> getting this cut. Because you're on a blood thinner, I'm going to be more careful. So instead of keep going deeper, I'm going to just nicely grind this down for you, okay? Okay. 